All right, after a lot of speculation and fake news and fake videos as well, we finally have Google Vue 3.1 launched. And in this video, I'm going to give my first impressions. I'm going to compare 3.1 with the previous version that is Google Vue 3. And let's see which one performs better. Hopefully 3.1 should, but we will see. And no doubt people are going to compare Vue 3.1 with Sora 2. That video will be coming up very soon. And I also want to compare this to VAN 2.5. This is going to be an epic battle. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So right now, here we are in the two versions, Google VO 3.1 videos. And here we have Google VO 3 video. But the biggest question is how you can get Google VO 3.1 access. And the answer is Higgsfield.ai. They recently added VO 3.1 on their platform. And here is their landing page. And this shows some epic results here and we are going to test it from our own prompts. So let's see how it goes. Now I got access to VO 3.1 in my Higgs field account. If you want to get access to VO 3.1 for your Higgs field account, make sure you check out the link in the video description below. And if you have used Higgs field before, then all you need to do is just go to video tab here. And here you just need to select the video model. And here you can see it says Google VO 3.1. And apart from that, we have the HD and full HD uh, video quality. And we can also choose the aspect ratio. I tried all my example with 16 by 9, but I need to test 9 by 16. And this is the credit you are going to burn if you generate one video. But if you switch to 720, it's still going to burn the same amount of credit. So I just turned it to full HD. And the reason I think that because of the API, the upscaling is free on the Flow website as well. So that's why it doesn't make any difference how much. So that's why it doesn't make any difference if you are using HD or full HD video, it's going to burn the same amount of credit. But before I dive into the actual examples, there are a lot of myths floating around regarding 3.1. So if we click on this, here it says video time as 8 seconds. So there is right now at least no way you can generate longer than eight seconds. I'm not sure how people are posting the 30 second video or they're claiming on Twitter that you can now generate a one minute video with VO 3.1. So I'm not sure how it's going to happen, but at least it's not happening right now. So all the tweets and videos you see on Twitter, they might be fake. So here we have selected our video model and for Higgs field, we need to use a starting frame or a image reference to create our videos. Now if we compare to the Google flow website, we do have an option to create text to video, but if you want to use Higgs field as of now, they only have an option for image to video. So I tried entering a text prompt, but it gave me an error that you need to upload an image. So if I just close this box and try to generate this video, it's going to say that you need to add a start frame. So to compare this, I'll be using 3.1. So to, so, so to do the comparison, I'll be using Google View 3.1 on Higgs field and I'll be using Google View 3 on the flow website just so that I can save few credits on my Higgs field account. So let's start from the very beginning. So I have created this whiteboard and I'll be showing the results here and with the prompt that I have used. If you want to get access to this exact whiteboard, then check out the link in the video description. So here is our first example with Google VO 3.1 and let's play this. Now let's see how Google VO 3 does. Right, it jumps in the mid air and pan towards the driver. So the panning effect or this camera effect was bang on in VO3, but somehow it figured out that it need to jump in the midway. But the prompt, uh, but in the prompt, I mentioned that the truck should climb up the sand dune and then jump off from the a little bit of cliff, whatever it is. And then it should pan towards the driver. Now, if we need to compare, we can clearly see that 3.1 was much better understanding the prompt and actually doing the jump from the uh, sand dune. But this was not exactly my prompt that I gave. If I show you here, this was my JSON prompt, which I have generated using chat GPT. And when I entered this prompt on Higgs field, 
there is an option which says enhance off now this option was by default turned on and i forgot to turn it off and it converted my json prompt into this text prompt so still i can say that it's the general prompt and still google view 3.1 did a better job here now here comes the next example again for this one we have used a starting frame for Higgs field and just to keep the example same I added the same starting frame here as well and gave the same JSON prompt in both websites. So here's the result from Google VO 3.1 on Higgs field. Our base is under attack. We need more backup. Now let's see the result of Google VO 3.0 on Flow website. Our base is under attack. We need more backup. Alpha team, send backup immediately. Now, the Higgs field video was a little bit cut off in the end. It did not complete the entire dialogue. But if we again need to compare the result, I would give this point to Google VO 3.1 again, because if you notice, the sound, the dialogue delivery was less robotic, but for the VO 3.0, it was very robotic sound. So I think this is one of the improvement we are going to get with 3.1. And this was the entire prompt that I gave to generate this video. And somehow VO 3.1 missed the last part of the dialogue to uh, send backup. But still, I think 3.1 did a better job here. And now it's time for our next example where we have this octopus sea monster and let's see how both of them goes here. So let's see 3.1 first. Let's hit this knucklehead. And let's see the result of VO3. Let's hit this knucklehead. Now, if you notice uh, the two example, again, the cinematic background, the dialogue delivery is now more less robotic. And in the prompt, I actually mentioned that there should be a camera movement. Now, I was actually thinking to zoom into the eyes of this monster and then it will do the fire. But somehow it did change the camera angle, but there was no fire effect. And 3.0 and Google VO3 completely neglected that part of camera movement. So still, I would say the improvement. So what I'm seeing till now is that the improvement is in terms of cinematic sound and the cinematic audio delivery, uh, cinematic dialogue delivery. So that is something really visible here. And again, this was the complete uh, JSON prompt for this one. And the way I'm generating these JSON prompts are just chat GPT. I just gave my simple description for the story. Like uh, if I show you all these images, this is my frame. I just tell chat GPT, this is what I want and generate a JSON prompt for me. And this is the output. So you don't need any external website to do that. So just add your image, describe what you want, any camera angle, any dialogue delivery. It will take the it will do all the things for you. So for this monster one, I just added my frame, asked ChatGPT to give me a JSON prompt for this, and it generated the prompt. And that exactly I added in Flow as well as Higgs field website. Now if we scroll down, here is the, and here is our very popular IKEA unboxing uh, video. So the inspiration for this is this Twitter, and which is, now the next is our very popular IKEA unboxing video. So the inspiration is coming from this Twitter account. I'm not sure if he's the original creator, but I just copied the same prompt here. So I just gave this prompt and this is, so let's see how VO 3.1 does it. Pretty good. Let's see Google VO3.
So honestly, I would not say anyone. So honestly, for this example, both of them did pretty good job. It's really hard to pick any noticeable update with these kind of videos. So I would give points to both of them. They are pretty good in both versions. Now comes the next very popular, the vlogging style videos. People have created Yeti, Monkey and all sort of animals in the vlog. So I thought the Santa season is coming. So let's create a vlog for Santa. And for this one, somehow I was not able to generate the video on both platforms when I tried to give a JSON prompt. I'm not sure why. So here is an error on Hexfield. And on Google Flow website, it was just keep on showing the loading and not showing up the final result. But finally, I just uh, scrapped the JSON prompt and gave a very simple plain English prompt that this is Santa going to vlog and this is the dialogue he need to say. So again, I think my dialogue is a little bit over eight seconds. So here is the result of Google VO 3.1. Ho, ho, ho! Santa vlogs are back. Hmm. Gifts ready. Sleigh tuned up. But hold up. The elves are busy. So let's see the result of Google VO 3. Ho, ho, ho! Santa vlogs are back. Gifts ready. Sleigh tuned up. But hold up. The elves are busy TikToking, and I can't find my. Now, again, if you notice that VO 3.1 cut my last line in the dialogue that um, he is not able to find his red hat. But I think my uh, dialogue was a little bit longer to fit inside eight seconds. But VO 3.0 did it much better than 3.1. Apart from dialogue, it actually um, did a little bit longer dialogue for 3.1. But apart from dialogue, if you notice, VO 3.1 actually dropped the selfie stick in the end. But Google VO 3 kept the selfie stick as it is, like the Santa is vlogging. But Google 3.1, it left the Google, I mean, the selfie stick here and just started talking to some other camera. So for this one, I would say that 3.0 or the Google VO3 did a better job. So with the first impression, I can say that Google VO3.1 definitely have some cinematic sound and the dialogue delivery updates, but I need to do more testing. And if you have any use case that you want to test, do leave that in the comment section below. I would love to try it on Hicksfield website. And if you want to get access to Google VO 3.1, then go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. And once again, I will leave the link for this whiteboard in the video description. So go ahead and check it out. You want to copy the prompts, go ahead and try it. So that's it for this one. And I'll catch you in the next video where I dig deep into VO 3.1 and compare it with different models. So see you in the next one.